What's going on my natives? It's your man Dalen here and today we're going to be talking about shooting and editing photos for Instagram with Lightroom. Alright, so let's go shoot these photos. I'm going to haul it down to the beach and I'll see y'all there. <laughs> I just wanted to discuss with you some of the things when you're shooting Instagram photos, especially when it comes to advertisements for someone that's paying you some money. Now, when I'm shooting my photos for Instagram, I shoot it vertically like this. And when you shoot them vertically and in 16 by nine aspect ratio, you can post those in your Instagram stories, full crop, or you can post them in the portrait mode setting with a very large frame compared to like a square photo or something that is landscape. So that's the way I choose to shoot my Instagram photos. So it looks something like this. And also when you're shooting, consider the top and the bottom of the frame and especially how you can edit that section for some text or something for advertising, you know, prices, their address, their contact info, any of that kind of things that you think that they might need or if they give you like a list of demands of what they're looking for in their photos and stuff that they want to put in their advertising, make sure you leave space for that as well. So here's a couple of the shots that I just did for the Cedar Soap Company. So that's it for me here, folks. And I'll see you back at the editing suite to show you some tricks in Lightroom and in Photoshop. See you there. So those are just a few things that you've got to remember when you're actually shooting photos especially for IG I love to do it vertically let's just dive right on into this sucker what you're gonna want to do first is open up Lightroom and then you're gonna want to go right here to albums click that plus sign go create album let's call it cedar soap co open up that right there go add photos navigate to where you saved them from you know you can either click and drag to select them all or just go control or command a to select all and hit enter or go review for import. Now you're gonna see all your photos come up all nice and dandy. Deselect the ones you don't want right here. The sake of me editing right now, I'm just gonna add all 21. 21, 21. Love 21 Savage, guy's sick. Now we have all of our photos imported into our album over here. As you can see, it's syncing with the cloud, so it'll be available on all your devices. Of course, you scan through, you pick your favorite one. You, let's say we're gonna edit this one. Now you have to know what you're gonna edit for. This one I'm gonna choose because I know that I can frame it right for a portrait upload for my feed and I can also use it for a story because it's vertical 16 by 9. Well, now that you have this open you know you can make any adjustments. I'm actually gonna go to my presets and apply one of those. It's just a good place to start. You slap that preset on and then you make further adjustments from there. And one of the things that I've learned when doing product photography is that you don't want to color correct it too much because if the person's product is supposed to be a specific color if you make all these adjustments to it and they put it on their website it looks a certain color their customer buys it and it's not that color then they get pissed. So I think this one looks good here. Make a couple more adjustments. If you want to upload this straight to your feed and you're not at all worried about putting it on your Instagram story, just come over here to the crop section. You're gonna click on aspect ratio and go four by five or eight by 10. That's the portrait ratio for the Instagram feed. So you can stretch that out. And now that crop is gonna be the full size for your Instagram feed. So now you can adjust it where you see fit, hit enter. Just like that, it's finished for you. And then you can export it, save to wherever you're gonna save it. And that's all that takes if you're going to be just posting it on Instagram for your feed. Boom, you got your photo right there, just like that. Looks fantastic. Now, if you're on a Mac, airdrop that sucker to your iPhone, or if you're on a PC or whatever other variation, whether it's an Android phone or not, if you have the Creative Cloud suite, you can just drop that into your Creative Cloud folder, which I have saved right here. And then you can just upload that to your phone and then save it on your phone and then post it to Instagram. But for those of you that wanna do this for the Instagram stories, which is what I usually do, you go back to your aspect ratio and then you go 16 by nine. Now, if you do a 16 by nine crop, Technically, you can still post it to your feed and have that same portrait ratio crop, but you have to kind of visualize it in your mind when you're gonna be editing it. With the experience, I know that if I export this as a 16 by nine crop, and I adjust it the way I want for the full story, just like that. I know that this section down here can get cut off and this section will get cut off right here if I were to save it as a four by five. So when you upload this to your Instagram, you can publish it to your story directly or you can publish it to your feed and slide it up and down to adjust the crop in Instagram. So I save it to your phone and then I'll show you how to post it. And now you just hop on over to your phone, go to your creative cloud, hop into wherever you saved it, hit the these three buttons, save to device, and download it. 
Now when you hop on your Instagram, you can see when you publish to your story, you just swipe up, select your photo, and it fills up the entire Instagram story. Add to and share, done. Or you can add your tags and stuff to it if you really feel like doing that. And then boom. There it is in your story. And then with that same photo, if you go here and select it like this and just hit this button, it gives you that same crop that you would have gotten in Lightroom. But now you have the option to publish it to either both your story and or the feed. You just hop it in there and then that's how you crop it. So you just pull it up and down, whichever way you want it to go. So let's give it about the same crop as last time. Next, hit next. Shot these soaps today exclamation point boom and there you go share it to your feed as well with the same photo looking good that's how you add that to your instagram feed and now that was my suggestion is definitely to do it the way where you export the 16 by 9 because you can do both if you do it that way if you export just the portrait mode it's not tall enough to go into a story so it's gonna push it wider thus cropping the photo again and it's gonna look awkward and it's not gonna be the way you intended your audience to view it so i just wanted to say thank y'all for watching Throw me a thumbs up if you like this video. Tweet me some suggestions at Dalen Gerard. Subscribe for a good time. And I'll talk to y'all next week. Have a good one. Peace. Please listen. I have a podcast with my buddy Shane that we just started. And it's about film school and audio engineering school. Whether or not you should go or not. Check it out in the description below. It is going to be lit. It's going to be posted on here and on Anchor and on every podcast station you can imagine. What's going on, my natives? It's your man Dalen here. And today I'm with my main dog, Shane the Hipster Hour. What's up, everybody?